Okay, let's set up Studio One for temple mapping. First thing you should do is set cursor follows edit on. Auto scroll should be on. And optionally turn on snap on. And set your time base to bars and time linear. If your guide track is audio, you'll want to set the tempo to don't follow. And optionally detect transients for the track because it makes it easier to find the downbeats and you can hide them later. For MIDI instruments, you should set the tempo to seconds and optionally set draw event translucent on. So let's just go over the tempo mapping process real quick here. I'm going to uh, just warn you though, don't use your old method of adding the tempo points in and dragging those points to the downbeat because it just doesn't work very well at this point. So pretty much forget how you used to do it previous to 4.1. And all you need to really do is identify the downbeats in your audio. Then secondly, uh, use a control or command drag to, to the closest bar for the downbeat. And the data point will be automatically added once you uh, let go of the mouse and it will be in essence anchored there for that particular beat. Then you just basically repeat that process working left to right and you're good to go. I would estimate it's probably at least 2x faster than previous versions of Studio One. Let's just zoom in to a few of these and add a few more majors. And this is basically the tempo mapping procedure now. Control or Command on the Mac and drag it to your transient. Jump to the next measure. And it's that simple. And here I'm editing an existing one. And by the way, you can use the same command troll drag to fine tune your measures as well as uh, to go ahead and add beat level mapping if you need to. A lot of times people who are going to be mapping for uh, MIDI music to go to notation are going to want to map this right to a beat level. So I suggest you first go through the song once mapping to uh, measure level and get it into the ballparks and then go back and then add in your beat level mapping. And you may not actually need that for every beat in the song. So here we're going to show you how to map um, an instrument and it's kind of nice because you can use translucent and map right to the beginning of the note. Holding down the control or command. So let's just go ahead and send that over to Notion. And finally, I'd like to close with a few tricks to make tempo mapping simple for you. Um, I like to use snap equals bar. It just makes it easy to land on the cursor when you're navigating around. Obviously, I highly recommend setting your shortcut key to bar forward. I set mine to the plus key, and I set the bar rewind to the minus key, so they're right next to the mouse on the numeric keypad and easy to get to and advance to the next measure in the song. Also, I need to mention that you can use the control command along with the alt command command to actually do a movement of the uh, bar, the stretch of the bar, without actually putting the point in there. So this is useful for lining up your first beat on the song, say to measure two for your first downbeat. And uh, I just want to mention that I am working on a macro that I will make downloadable with the post here that will just include a lot of the tempo commands that I've 
use in the video here today just to make things simpler for you. And to wrap it up, I'd like to say thanks from Mustard Seed Studio and give credit to Jim, whose song Talk It Up was used for the audio example, as well as Sharon's song Song of the Dove was used for the instrument example. Thanks from Mustard Seed Studio, and we'll see you soon.